Queen's Wharf was officially opened in 1840. Port Adelaide was the gateway to trade and commerce in South Australia and the first contact with South Australia for thousands of emigrants. In 1857 the North Parade and Queen's Wharf commercial area was all but destroyed by a fire. However it was soon rebuilt and continued to be vibrant centre of commercial and social activity until the 1950s. And the North Parade was the street which ran along the edge of Queen's Wharf. In about 1841 they started building shops and buildings along there. There were ships constantly queuing up to moor right outside of North Parade at Queen's Wharf. So it was very busy and a lot of new migrants coming in. All of the ships needed um, provisioning. There were two fires. We call them the Great Fires of Port Adelaide. First one was 1847. The big one was in 1857. And in 1857 a fire started in the George Scarf shop. He ran an ironmonger's shop. They sold a whole lot of hardware and um, kitchen cooking utensils. And later when he joined with Mr. Harris and uh, formed the Empire of Harris Scarf's department stores. The fire spread. Within a couple of hours, half of Port Adelaide had burnt down. By the time the fire brigade people came from Adelaide, it was midnight and the fire had already gone out. Uh, there was no insurance in those days, so most of the people lost everything. But within three years, that whole street was rebuilt and trading very busily. The commercial area of Port Adelaide was at North Parade. On Saturday nights particularly, local people would promenade up and down the shops and the wharves. It was a social centre, it was a commercial centre, it was a maritime centre in the early 1950s. They needed space for more wharf operations. So by the mid-1950s, all of the shops and hotels had gone from that section of North Parade. Sadly, um, there's not much there now. Where all the shops were now is mostly a car park. We remember it as it was as a very busy and interesting shopping area. Port Adelaide was the gateway to South Australia for many years, but it was the gateway. So most of the people in the early days came into South Australia via Port Adelaide, and most goods went in and out of Port Adelaide. Later on, when containerisation came in, in the 1970s, um, the old sheds were redundant. Outer Harbour took over as the main shipping port for Port Adelaide. And now the waters in Port Adelaide itself are pretty quiet, but um, thankfully there's a lot of development of housing going on, a lot of young families moving into the area, which will give it a, a, a vibrancy once again.